Hey guys, check it out. We're going to be looking at Rekordbox, and not Rekordbox DJ, as in the DJ software. This is just for analyzing. So a lot of guys have no idea the easy way to analyze your music if you're going to use a CDJ. So I'm going to show you right now, as you can see right here, I just, I have a folder that is analyzing right now. So it's going through, it's building the strength information. How I did this was simple. I don't actually use the Explorer view let me scroll down here. I got too many playlists going. But there is Explorer View. You can go and you can start digging through all that stuff. You know what? No sense in that. Open up your Finder window, find the folder that you want, and um, so I'm going to be I'm on my playlist. I'm going to. This is the folder here. See eight and that eight one. Go like that. Now because it's got the same one. Do you want to replace them? No, I'm not going to bother because it's going to do just that. As soon as you pop it in here, it's being imported into the collection and it automatically starts analyzing your music. Very simple. So, notice you have your BPM. This doesn't have a genre. So you'll see where it says key. Here's the trick. If you care about the key, and I care about it, you can go click the top, click anywhere in there, do Command A if you're on a Mac. I forget what it is on Windows. That selects everything. Now you're going to Control click or right click if you got to use the mouse. Um, and I'm going to say Analyze the Keys. For some reason, and maybe it's just a setting that I haven't looked at, but when it analyzes, it doesn't analyze the keys at the same time that it analyzes when it imports it in. But it's not a big deal. It doesn't take long at all. So here's the other part. Give me two seconds. Sorry guys, I didn't have my USB key sitting beside me. So I'm gonna plug a USB key in while this is all happening. If you scroll down here, you're gonna see it will pop up under devices. There it is. It says untitled. We open it up. There's no tracks. There's no playlist. There's nothing. So we go back up. Here's the playlist that we're analyzing. And hopefully it can do a little quicker. And of course, if you have a slow computer, this is a painful process. Another thing to tell you, buy a good USB stick that's got some good fast speed on it. Um, if you have to go on Google and type in the name of it, a review to go find the speeds, because if you've got a slow stick and you're trying to move music over in Rekordbox, you'll be there all day. Trust me. I watch too many of my friends trying to move their music around and it's just slow. So this stick that I just popped in, it's um, it's a Next Tech. It's just a little bullshit stick from the source up here in Canada, and um, I have no idea what the speed's like on. I've never used it for my CDJ, so we're gonna find out. So right there, you're gonna click there, Control, click on the MacBook, right click with your mouse, go up here, look at this, Export. That's what the stick's called is Untitled because I didn't title it. And there you go. And it's going to boot along there. And this is all going to be very dependent on the speed of the computer and the speed of your stick. So far, i got to say, this isn't probably the fastest stick I've ever used because my other stick for 15 tracks move them over pretty quick. Oh, sorry, Source, I don't necessarily recommend your next stick sticks for uh, CDJs, but like I said, I've seen worse. Yeah, trust me, I've seen way worse now that I see it moving here. And just on a little side note too, if you're still here listening to all this, um, I re the channel if you haven't noticed. It was called Tractor Specialist, now Steve's Man Cave. 
I'm going to be doing reviews on everything and anything. I'm going to rant. I'm going to rave. Um, yeah, it should be fun. I'm going to try to reach a, a bigger audience and uh, hopefully make a little bit more money on YouTube here and afford to buy some cool new toys and show them off and talk shit about them. You know, my usual. So sorry that, you know, I could go and edit this and fast forward through all this stuff, but uh, I'm lazy like that. I'm really sorry. There we go. So let's go down. We're going to take a look real quickly. There's our stick. Get the beach ball going. Another thing, if you have a fast stick, I don't run into the beach ball issue too much. So if I go here and click on the top under devices, that's my device. Um, on the CDJs, this is kind of a cool feature that you can change the color of the background on a CDJ 2000, 2000 Nexus, and of course the 2000 Nexus tubes. So you know you might want to say I want a purple background. Um, you can the waveform color. That's only on the Nexus 2s, I believe, and XDJ or ones or something, I don't know, that controller. Um, tells you total space. You can name the device. Call it what it is. Um, and then here, one of the other things you can do is you can tell it what categories you want it to show so, you know, for sorted, you can, you know, this is what will show my player, but I can add in, you know, say the, uh, the time, for instance, say I want to sort by time so I can see, like, you know, if I have a big mega mix on a stick, which I wouldn't, but, you know what I mean, like a wedding DJ might, for instance, uh, columns, you know, you can customize everything you want, like, it's pretty straightforward beyond that, you don't even need to get into all of that shit, to be honest. You just want to get your music on that stick. You want to have it analyzed so that way you can sort things. If you just do it by put it in a folder and jamming it in there, it's not. it'll make a waveform, but only as fast as the music is playing if it's an MP3. If it's a WAV file, it'll go faster and build that waveform faster than the music's playing. But seriously, you don't want to go through that shit. You want to be able to sort your music based on you know, all the criteria, so BPM, things like that. I'm going to be doing more videos like this, uh, showing you some more little tips and tricks. Feel free to subscribe, share this channel out to your friends, help support, and I will talk to you guys later.